Hey guys, what's up? We're here at the store picking out Atolfo mangoes. I think they're also known as champagne mangoes. And they are cheaper to get in the box. A little bit cheaper, okay? So I think you're saving like 49 cents. So here's what I would do personally, okay? There's three ways you can do this. You can get the individual ones, you can get them in the box, or you can make your own box. Now this is gonna be you know, a little time consuming, but what I've done in the past is I've taken all the mangoes out of a box and then I've made my own box. It's much easier to do this with figs, but you know, listen, depends on if you have that availability and time, you know, and if you're not gonna get in trouble at the store. But anyway, let's digress. How do we pick out these mangoes? Okay, so number one, number one, always look for the mango that have some sap coming out of the top. Okay, so there's not a lot of them. Uh, these are really good right now because they're in season but you want to find if there's any ones with some sugary sap coming out of the top that is a really good indication that they're going to be sweet and i don't see too many this one has a tiny bit you see it just a tiny bit so i'm going to get this one i'm going to get a bunch um the ones in the box actually even look better and these look good too these are $1.99 each though. Mm, that's not a great price. Um, but the first thing is look for the sap coming out of the top. The second thing is you wanna look at the color. You want the darkest orange possible, okay? Without having bruises on it, because look what happens. Somebody put their thumb in there. So that's the first thing. First thing is the sap at the top. Second thing is the color. You want the darkest orange. The third thing is you wanna squeeze it on the top and the bottom. Now, I would never get a mango with this big indent here. That means somebody pushed their thumb into it and it's gonna be mealy. I don't want that. So I want the ones that look, they're kind of hard, but they're a dark orange color. Don't worry about any black spots. That doesn't matter. You wanna press the top and the bottom. If there's a little bit of give, that's a really good sign. And finally, the last thing you wanna do is smell it smell your mango smell all your fruit before buying it it should smell even before it's fully ripe okay and so maybe I'm gonna get them in here because honestly these look a little better and they're more protected you know people are like putting their thumbs in there not Mr. Vegan but other people and it's just like a nightmare okay so here this is some sap at the top that's a really good one uh, I think I might get this box but I'm gonna exchange oh there's some sap at the top, but it's kind of small. I don't really like to, so you know what I'm gonna do, guys? I'm just gonna exchange it for one of these. Wait, I think these are way bigger. Oh yeah, that's why they're more expensive. Okay, I get it, I get it, I get it. So guys, we're gonna go with these, because they're bigger, and even though there's not a lot of good ones, I'll just get a few, because why not? I'm at the store now. But I hope that helped. I always smell the mangoes. Oh, this one smells really good. This one smells so good, but it doesn't have all the other qualifications, okay? I'm looking for the dark color. I'm looking for the sap on top. I'm looking for it to smell good and also to have no bruises because I hate, I hate when I get mangoes with bruises. It, they're just mealy. So anyway, I hope this video helped you, and uh, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye, boo.